In this lesson, we're going to add and subtract polynomials in several variables. You may remember from an earlier lesson when we added and subtracted polynomials, it really just amounted to combining our like terms. The only difference here is that we will have two variables in each polynomial to deal with. Now, if we have a subtraction problem, we'll need to distribute the negative. And remember that like terms have to have the same powers of the same variables. So x squared y cannot combine with xy squared. They have to both be x squared y or both be xy squared. So for our next few examples, let's work on these problems. We've got 6xy squared minus 5xy plus 7 plus 9xy squared plus 2xy plus 6. Now, I notice that there's a plus sign between my polynomials, so I really can just combine the like terms. Here I have 6xy squared and 9xy squared, so together that makes 15xy squared. Now I have negative 5xy and plus 2xy, together they make negative 3xy. Then I have 7 and negative 6, together they make positive 1. Let's look at our next example. Um, this polynomial, these four terms, minus this polynomial. So we will need to distribute that minus sign. Everything in the first polynomial stays the same. Then I get minus 3x to the third, plus 6x squared y, plus 2xy squared, and minus 3. Notice that every sign changes when you distribute the negative sign. We've seen that several times before. Now we can combine like terms. I have 5x cubed and negative 3x cubed. I have negative 9x squared y and positive 6x squared y. Together they make negative 3x squared y. Now I have 3xy squared and 2xy squared. Together they make 5xy squared. Then I have negative 4 and minus 3. Together they make minus 7. Now let's look at this one. Um, we have x to the third minus y to the third. Now we'll need to distribute this minus sign. So that's going to give us plus 4x to the third plus x squared y minus xy squared minus 3y to the third. So when we combine like terms, the order that the terms end up in does not matter at all. Um, we can combine x to the third plus 4x to the third, and we'll get 5x to the third. Now, you could either choose to combine the y to the thirds at this point, or you could wait till the end, because some people notice that y to the third was on the end here. But honestly, it doesn't matter. I went ahead and did the x squared y. Now notice there's only one of the x squared y terms, so that's what I have here. Then we're going to do minus xy squared. Then we're going to do our y to the third term. So I have negative y to the third, negative 3y to the third. Together they make minus 4y to the third. 